MFA TV and the founder of MFA March for America. As many of you know, for the past few months, I have been doing a deep investigation on the Las Vegas shootings. I'm here in front of the concert venue and behind me is Mandalay Bay and once again we hear sirens in Vegas as we did that night. I'll let this pass a minute. We are now going on a few months here with no any real answers to this shooting. We have put in hundreds and hundreds of hours and starting September 14th, we'll be doing a three show special. In those specials, I will go through every fact every timeline the first show will go through the timeline the exact timeline as well as be debunking and or proving other stories having to do with other hotels and alleged shooters and the airport and 17 dead bodies allegedly at hooters uh you name it we've covered it and i'm going to be bringing it to you so i'm going to ask you all to be patient with these three shows they're not going to be wham 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 we're going into serious detail in them because there's so much misleading evidence, okay, or misleading videos and people coming out with information that is just outright lies. Many people are not gonna like the ending to this story of what truthfully happened, how it is tied to 9-11, uh, regards with the Saudi prince, okay, which we will bring you proof that he was in Saudi Arabia, nowhere near the United States, as many people have alleged. There are so many YouTubers out there putting out false information and trying to profit off of this horrible event. And it was a government false flag gone wrong with much more and many, many financial gainers, okay, in this event, not just MGM, okay? This is tied to many other corporations, which I'm not gonna mention until the end of the show as well as Mossad, the Saudis, and our CIA. In detail, we will be bringing you all of the evidence that is available today, as well as some information from my sources. If you have not seen it, there is a pre-commercial on my YouTube and on MFA TV of what is to come. I was the first to bring you information from inside Mandalay Bay Hotel, right from housekeeping that just got confirmed by a new recent article here in Las Vegas, in the Vegas Times, confirming that Paddock, sure enough, there was nothing in his room up until the day of the situation. Housekeeping called in, was told not to come in that day on the 32nd floor. That Paddock was downstairs gambling. The police chief, my information and sources were solid in all of this. From there, I brought you inside information from the great MGM themselves who own this hotel. I brought you the employment file okay on the computer screens from my inside source in MGM showing about Jesus Campos being wiped out of the computer this case is very serious and many many not just Americans but people around the world are wanting to have answers to this and we will not be getting any real answers from the FBI until probably next October or somewhere before that so I'm looking forward to bringing this to you as well as finally putting to rest a, a, a incredible amount of BS on the internet about these shootings. Thank you all who have supported me, watched my shows, liked and subscribed to us on YouTube, to our MFA members, uh, to everyone, our donors, uh, anything that's, everybody who's come to help MFA get this far. And you're going to see many more breaking uh, news stories from us. You're going to see our new MFA news channel up and TV channel up. Our private forum is now up and just being beta tested. Our survival group is coming, uh, as well as our Atlas cities. This planet is changing. The key to survival, the first key, is knowing what is true and what is real. And when you look at something like took place at this event, not everything is what it seems. Not everything is what it seems when you watch videos or you listen to people coming out with information. And then when you do the investigation and you look at the facts, it's pretty simple how someone at the Bellagio can believe that there was a shooting there, okay? When in fact, the woman did not hear a shot, okay? 
but she heard something else and we have the evidence of that and it was no shooting at the Bellagio. And that is a fact. Just say, there's many things that are not there. There was no 17 dead bodies at Hooters, as falsely reported by Alex Jones and others, because of a video that was shot of ambulances lining up on the road over here, which that really was a trauma center set up at that area. And that's where all the ambulances for that section were said to go. Okay? Not to pick up 17 dead bodies. And that's how one video from a room of a hotel room can turn into a fake news story all over the internet on people guessing, oh, there's a ton of ambulances over there, so that must mean, and they saw somebody covered in a sheet, okay? When in fact, from Hooters, there was only one death, okay? There was only one death. Many injured, but one death, but out in front of Hooters was in fact a, a, a triage center set up. This is my point where things are being drastically out, that the Prince was, what the Prince was staying at the Four Seasons, and that he was helicoptered off the roof because it was an assassination attempt on his life. No, epic fail, right? no such thing. I can go on and on and on and we have the evidence to back it up. I have more hours on the ground here than any other investigator. We have talked to more, whether it be employees or victims, horrible, horrible people who have suffered this horrible tragedy here, okay? And it's about time that people start to give the truth. Okay, and that's why we've created MFA TV. It'll be like YouTube, but it is only for vetted true truthers and people who really want to put shows and things up uh, uh, on the internet of true content. Many people lost their lives here, suffered serious injuries, and people continue to mock them as if this was some fake, when in fact it's a combination of two. But to mock these people and not give them the peace and the respect that they deserve from this horrible shooting as well as demand answers from the FBI and those investigating this. It just got pushed under the rug again, you know, here we go, another one of these great things. Disinformation, disinformation, disinformation. No more disinformation. We will be bringing you the truth. Take care. God bless. Stay real.